Today, the club officially announced the signing of Alexis McAllister from Brighton in a move worth around £35 million. However, this is not the last of the business to be done by the football club this summer. In today's video, we'll take a look at the other deal Liverpool have secured and see what Paul Joyce has said with regards to Liverpool's transfer business whilst going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. On the same day, the football club announced the deal for Alexis McAllister. Reputable Merseyside journalist Paul Joyce came out and said well, who Liverpool will pursue next. The Liverpool guru stated that Thuram, Kone, Gabri Vega, Romeo Lavia and Ryan Gravenberg are the players on the club's shortlist this summer and claim they're ready to take the next step on pursuing them. Note though that the club may not sign all five, but will take the interest to the next level and explore their options. Just a quick one guys before we get back in the video, we're currently doing £5 off of all our Liverpool t-shirts and we have got brand new designs on the website so do browse the collection by going to copyclothing.com or going down into the link in the description. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. While most Liverpool fans are still buzzing off the announcement of Alexis McAllister, the club today also announced that they have secured yet another huge deal ahead of the summer. However, not for a player, but a familiar structure that we're all aware of. The club have brought back their former Melwood training ground for their women's team to use. The men's first team vacated the site in West Derby in the city in November 2020 for a new build at their existing academy base in Kirby. Amid local protesters, proposals were in place for the land to be turned into a multi-generational housing complex by affordable housing group Taurus. But after Robbie Fowler, Jamie Carragher Academy moved in plans started to change, which has ultimately resulted in the club repurchasing their former home. As a part of the move, the crest of the LFC women's team, which had previously trained at Tranmere Base on Wirral, will move to the official club crest to closer align the two operations. The club statement read, This is a truly historic moment for Liverpool Football Club and the continued desire of the LFC Women's Board to elevate and develop our women's first team and Category 1 Professional Game Academy. We also have an opportunity to further develop to use the site to support the local community by using it as an additional base for LFC Foundation. We are delighted that FEFA, Fowler Education and Football Academy, will continue to use their site as for its college that provides sport and educational opportunities for young people. We have always taken the views of the local community seriously and we look forward to re-engaging with them in the near future. Taurus will use the funds from the sale of Melwood to build much needed homes across Merseyside. Developments also continue at pace at Anfield where the 282 ton roof of the old Anfield road stand has been removed to make way for the completion of the new stand which is due to open for the start of the next season and expand the grounds capacity to 61,000. While a number of Reds have turned their attention to the international commitments, the summer holidays continued for others, and for plenty, that meant seeking out the sun. It has not been two weeks since Liverpool's season came to an end, but we've already seen Harvey Elliott with Calvin Harris, and Curtis Jones pictured with Dr Dre. Jurgen Klopp's side have not wasted any time in putting their feet up, but for the majority of this squad, that is due to their upcoming international commitments. The likes of Virgil van Dijk, Cody Gakpo and Andy Robertson have already joined up with their national team, but the same cannot be said for Stefan Bishesic. The young midfielder is to enjoy a full summer as he continues to recovery from stress injury and swap cold play at the Etihad for Italy. Just look at those views. But the 18-year-old has not been too far away from a gym, much like Mohamed Salah, but we know which view would choose to work out in front of. Fabinho has returned to his native Brazil with his family, his wife Rebecca, sharing a glimpse into their relaxing time on the beach. The theme of sunshine continued with Thiago, who jets off to Mauritius with his growing family to start a six-week break. International fixtures loom for Alisson, but he was able to first enjoy the sights of Sardinia after a demanding nine months between the sticks for the Reds and the summer beard is in play. Salah, meanwhile, is spending quality time with his family too, alongside his gym work. The Egyptian is one of 15 senior players who will report late for pre-season due to their international commitments, with only nine first-team members to be there on day one. Jurgen Klopp has already made a nod to Alexis McAllister's flexibility in midfield, a trait that he is ready to capitalise on as Liverpool 2.0 moves forward. Liverpool officially announced McAllister's move on Thursday in a deal that is reported to be worth £35 million a bargain for a player's age, calibre and experience. 
The World Cup winner arrives after 112 appearances for Brighton, which saw the Argentine show off his ability to play in deep central and advanced positions in the midfield. In addition to finding the right character to fit into the squad, versatility is a key trait for Klopp, and the manager did not wait long to lord McAllister's abilities. He claimed, We are adding a very talented, very smart, very technically skilled boy into our squad, and this is super news. I do not think the football world needs me to say too much about Alexis's qualities, because they are already pretty well known, but it is clear that he is someone who can play in a number of positions in the midfield, and is an all-rounder, I would say. He is calm and composed and someone with proper game intelligence. Klopp went on to say he has watched him grow from a young boy, starting out in the league to a man who's helped his country win the World Cup. It's no wonder then that he was pleased with what he had seen from the 24-year-old, most notably for thriving at Brighton in a system that is underpinned by technical and tactical tweaks of, and fluidity. He said, I'm really happy his next steps will now be with us and get his work with a player who's already excellent and experienced, but also has so much more to come given he is just 24 years old. He is just as excited to be joining and working with us that it already makes it a good partnership, but there is no pressure on him. He's still young, so it's obvious he will only improve and our job is to help him take their next steps. McAllister will be part of a group that returns late to preseason as he now joins up with Argentina for their summer internationals. But this swift business ensures McAllister can rest easy knowing the future is sorted and that the club is now focused on tying deals up for other summer targets. Shortly after the announcement was made, McAllister signed off his three and a half year stay at Brighton with a social media post, thanking fans for their support during his stay. The midfielder expressed his eternal gratitude for the opportunities the club had given him and joked that he will be supporting the Seagulls in every game that they play that doesn't involve Liverpool. He wrote, It's time to say goodbye to the club that opened the doors for me and gave me wonderful moments. I never imagined living all that I lived in these three and a half years, but this club gave me the possibility and the gratitude will be eternal. First, I want to thank each and every one of the people who are part of this journey, Tony Bloom, Paul Barber and the leaders, Graham and Roberto along with their technical bodies. Players, the most important, and for whom I take beautiful memories and lessons. All the people who work with the club who are often the least seen, but the ones who make the most effort to make their days too enjoyable to help the teams achieve important goals. Lastly, a special mention to the fans. Their support and respect during the time I was amazing, and so were the post-World Cup welcomes. I will never forget them. I have no doubt that the team will continue to achieve important things because they have the footballing and human qualities to do so. Are we watching and rooting for them always, except when we play against each other? Thank you, Seagulls. McAllister becomes Liverpool's first permanent midfield signing since Thiago's arrival in 2020, with Arthur joining on a loan last summer but failing to register a first-team start. He is likely to be the first of a number of additions of the transfer window, with Jurgen Klopp looking to get business done early on and to maximise his benefits in pre-season. Okay, to finish this video off, Liverpool fans, I thought it'd be interesting to get your mind working a little bit. There have been six Argentine Liverpool players prior to McAllister. Without using Google, give it your best shot and name all of them in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we have got Liverpool t-shirts available on our website along with brand new designs, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to cobbikeclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.